A warning from the Minnesota DNR and state park officials tonight. Rapidly rising rivers are causing dangerous conditions for park visitors and leaving damaged and downed bridges in their wake. Mary McGuire is with us tonight with more on this. Mary and Karen, the flooding happening right now on the North Shore is being blamed on several different factors, including lots of snowfall this winter, frost still being deep in the ground and heavy rainfall. With its stunning views, Tedaguch State Park is one of the most iconic places to visit on Minnesota's North Shore. But lately, interpretive naturalist Kurt Mead says he's never seen the park look quite like this. There's flooding in areas that haven't flooded in over 40 years. Um, I've been up here for 26 years and I've never seen anything like it. He took this video of the swinging bridge at the park and tells Fox 9 one side of it was recently ripped off because of high water. And once the water hit the bottom of it and <clears throat> logs and sticks and branches started getting up in the in the bridge and I'm sure that added a lot of resistance and a lot of weight. The Minnesota DNR is now warning people to stay away from these impacted parks, trails, bridges and campgrounds on the North Shore. If you do decide to visit and take a look at the flooding for yourself, Mead warns to be extremely careful. It's a serious safety concern. You gotta gotta keep your distance away from the edge of it. Uh, keep your hands on your kids. One little slip and, and you'd be gone. The threat of high water is also closing roads and trails in the Twin Cities. The city of St. Paul will temporarily close Water Street between Highway 13 and Plato Boulevard on Monday. In anticipation of localized flooding by rising water levels on the Mississippi River. Now, Luton Resort's two iconic red covered bridges were also severely damaged from the record runoff. The resort does say that key pieces are still intact and they remain hopeful that they can repair both of those bridges. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Mary McGuire, Fox 9.